the last 10 years. You're going to see that. So if the city of Valdosta continues to grow, if economic development is continuing to thrive, and there's no change, then why are we here? Why do we have to fight this over and over and over again? This is not the first time. Consolidation came up in the 1980s. It came up again in the 1990s. And here we are in 2000 and we're still talking about it. We're talking about we're the laughing stock of the state of Georgia. You know why we're the laughing stock? Because people say that Valdosta and Lowndes County can't decide whether or not they want to be wildcats or vikings. And every 10 years it comes back up. And it's not about the children. It's about somebody's ego and want to consolidate these schools and to take over our government. If we want to save our schools, then what we need to do, we need to beat the bushes just like they have and tell people, don't sign and vote no. That's the only thing that we want to do. That's the only purpose we want to know. We want to know what will happen to our children at the end of the day. And we're not willing, we're, we're not willing to sit back anymore and take all of the criticism from people that don't have a dog in this fight, that know better than educators on how to educate our boys and girls. Now when the Dallas Board of Education tells me that they no longer can do it, that I'm the first one to stand here and say, let's go. But I hadn't gotten that yet. Nobody has told me that. It was ironic that I read in the Dallas Data Times editorial last weekend and the first thing that they said in the first paragraph that caught me, and I didn't read the rest of it, it said that for the, several years we've been in, in favor of consolidation of, of the school systems. But that didn't mean that we wanted to consolidate individual schools. And I'm thinking, now I've, got, I, I've been working in our city school system too long. That doesn't sound right. How can you consolidate a system without consolidating individual schools when in the city of Valdosta, 78% of your student body is African American. How are you going to unify something like this unless somebody gets on a school bus? Nobody wants to talk about busing. Nobody wants to talk.